they're not supposed to get the reward at the same time that you're supposed to get it. It's complicated. Like, what if my wife's karma is that she should win the lotto, but my karma is that I should go to jail, or, mm -hmm. or that I should become poor? How can it be? It has to wait. So it's, karma is really difficult to match up all the things. That's why it takes a long time, and it usually manifests over many births, because the agents of, of karma, the garahas, they have to wait until they see the, the gear, the cogs on the gear aligned to the right settings. Then they say, and this time I can bestow to you this fruit. So that's why it, you, the karmas that you do in this life may not give you the fruits right now, right away in this life. Be, due to circumstance, you may have to wait for many lives. But, and yes, karma is cyclical, and you can exp, um, investigate this in Prabhupada's Nectar of Devotion, or if, I think now that it's available, you can get Bhakti Rasa Amrita Sindhu in English. That's a book. It's a book, Nectar of Devotion. In the very early sections of these books, one is a translation of the other. It explains the cyclic nature of karma. That basically when you do something, it creates different stages. One of it is it puts back into your heart the, the tendency to do it again. And the other thing is it, it puts out into the universe the reaction that you need, and then the reaction waits and comes back to you. So it's cyclical in that you're likely to respond to the reaction in the same way that you did in the first place. That's the dangerous nature of karma. It's like rolling down a hill. So therefore, people need to come and speak. People need to explain to us what karma is and how we can break the fall. Otherwise, we're rolling down a hill and we don't... There's no way for us to break the fall of karma unless we stand up and use our free will and have a little individuality and integrity and stand up and break the flow of our habits. We need to start thinking about our life, how we live, how we react to people, and then we can start to make wise judgments about how we should react to our karma, whether it's good or bad. And we talk about bad karma. How should we react to bad karma? How should we react to good karma? Good karma is in many ways worse than bad karma for you if you are truly on a spiritual quest. Because good karma makes you never want to leave. Hey, this is great. Actually, this party's a little better than I thought it was. This party's great. This cake is awesome. So think also about how to deal with good karma in a humble way. Like tonight, I got a nice karma. I was able to give this class and have everybody pay attention to me. I love these kind of things. <laughs> you know? This is me being the center of the atom, in a sense. So, uh, I, you know, this is good karma for me. Well, I should also be thinking, how can I not be, be fooled by this good karma as well? So good karma and bad karma, it's both really the same. It's both an opportunity for us to grow spiritually. This is what I would like to say to you tonight. I thank you very much for your awesome attention, and I look for, is next week still on? Yeah, uh, so Brad will present another topic next Thursday, and that will be? I think it will be linked to this a bit, because I've explained a bit that the universe watches you, and there's astrology involved and whatnot. So next week I would like to explain a little bit about Vedic astrology, and what it teaches you about human nature. Oh, I forgot to tell you that uh, Brad is also an accomplished astrologer, and uh, also offers, uh, well, throw an ad in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> offers um, offers um, services, astrological, Vedic astrological services. What's your site? It's very egotistical. <laughs> it's vicdegara.com. It's my name. Vicdegara.com. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll speak to you next week and I'll probably no, give you my astrology. Also, vedicastrologer.net or vicdegara.com. Or just Google search biggest fool in the universe. <laughs> and it'll come up. It'll be the number one result. <laughs> Good? Thank you.